you get me. What's good everybody, it's your boy Lario. Thank you for joining me, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing something really cool and we're gonna be talking about how to route your drums to your MIDI controller. I posted another way to do this in the past using the FPC, but this is totally different. You do not have to use the FPC. Whatever keyboard or MIDI controller you're using, it doesn't matter. Before hopping into that, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsor for this video, DistroKid. Check this video out real quick. Using DistroKid allows you to pay a one time a year fee of $19.99 to upload an unlimited amount of songs and albums through DistroKid, your songs and albums upload sometimes go live as 24 to 48 hours most importantly musicians retain 100 percent of their royalties and receive payments every single month you can get seven percent off DistroKid by hitting the link down in my description below now let's get back to the video you can see here i have these drums in the channel rack we got kick snare another snare a hi-hat open hi-hat and 808 the prior way to doing this, a lot of you guys may know, is using the FPC, but this way we don't have to use the FPC at all. All you have to do to accomplish this is open up this plugin called Layer. So once you open up Layer, you highlight the drums that you want routed. So I don't want the 808, I just want the kick, snare, other snare, hi hat, open hi hat, and that's it. Then make sure that you don't like click on Layer here because then it'll unselect all these, which you don't want. So just click on that layer plugin you're going to hit set children and then click this little drop down menu and hit split children starting from c5 and up it's going to route all your drums in order so if you want a specific order all you have to do is just move things around here so if you want your kick first before you do this and you set children and do all that stuff inside the layer plugin make sure that you have the order of your drums in the channel rack that way it makes it a little bit easier once you start playing around so when you're going to go and play your drums, make sure that you select the layer plugin. Let's just play around and then we can record something. I'll show you guys that whole process too. So let's go ahead and record the kick and the snares first, and then we'll do the hi-hat after. So I'm just going to go to a new pattern, and then we're going to go up to the record button and hit make sure that we select notes only. Right, cool so i threw a little bit of swing in there and i also already have swing set on the channel rack up here and i'm not sure if i want to really fully quantize these because i might want some of that natural looseness in there now let's mess around and see what we can do for a hi-hat so we got the closed hat and the open hat Right, we're gonna duplicate those hats and I just had to turn down those open hats. They were a little bit loud Let's give it a listen That's gonna do it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the link down in my description to get 7% off DistroKid right now if you're not signed up. And make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.